Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over threads. Now these have been talked about for a while, and currently they are not available to public, so if you go in your server and you try and use them, you probably won't be able to find them. Now we're going to go through the setup process and I'm going to show you all about threads, so how you enable them, how they work and all that. Bear in mind you probably won't be able to access these, which is why I'm showing you them, because you won't be able to access them yourself, unless you're a bot developer. Although I'm not really sure of the exact requirements because it says since you look like a bot developer, I have a custom bot that's not official or anything. Maybe it's because I have the developer license. But the general requirements are you need to have fewer than 5 members, one of which is a bot, and you have to be using a Canary desktop Discord client, or p 2 Those are basically preview builds of Discord. Let's go. Right, so here's my test server, and I'm on the Canary version of Discord. So if you have the normal version of Discord at the time, you won't be able to access this. It looks like your server has to be a community server, because it's under the community tab. So if I go into threads here, well this is great, it literally tells me exactly what threads are here, so I can just read off this. So threads are temporary sub-discussions within the channel that keep conversations focused in your server, and they're coming soon. Now I don't know why there was a timer here, it's like when you install some software and it says, please enter a license key or wait 15 seconds. I don't know why I had to wait there. I take this video with a grain of salt, because even though I'm not sure about everything yet, I'm just going over what we do know so far. So it says if you're a bot developer, you can enable threads in small testing servers to get a head start. And by small, it means very small, because a maximum of 5 people. Yeah, that's very small. So let's check this out. So, threads enabled. Cool. So let's see what changed. Alright, I know this server's a bit of a mess, this is just a testing server. So I'm just going to type something in. So, random stuff here. And let's see how this works. Okay, so create thread. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to actually type a proper message. Say, school talk. I know, the most boring thing I could have hit. Right, I'm going to right click school talk, because this is where I'm talking about school stuff. As an example, create thread. And it comes up with this pop up over on the right. It's so a thread name. Okay, this is about school. So, school talk. Archive after someone has not been talking in that thread for a certain amount of time, that's what it seems. So I'm just going to do one hour. We're not actually going to be able to see it go into action because one hour is quite a long time. And I haven't got that long. So you only get these four options here. I'm going to click create thread. Okay, so if you click over here, that will open the thread in the main section. So it kind of just seems like it's another channel, honestly. But it's temporary. So if no one talks in this thread for an hour, then it will archive. So yes, yeah, so we can just talk in here. Now on the main version of Discord, the one that isn't Canary or PTB, I do actually have threads, so I can't communicate in there. I'm just going to have to use this one account here. So I'm going to create a thread from someone else's message. and create a new one here. Call it that. Create thread, and it will create it over here. There are some options here. Quite a few, actually. So open in full view. That would just look like as if it's a new channel. You can change the archive here. You can archive threads. So what happens when you do that? This thread was archived by a moderator. Only moderators can archive. I am a moderator. I have the administrator permission, but I can't see over here. So I guess to unarchive it, you're going to have to go over here. This is a new button over here. Threads. Click that. There's active. This is one that's still open. And then there's archived here. So I click this and then archive. We'll come back up over here. So by the looks of it, these threads are kind of like sub channels in a way. So you have the categories here. Then you have the channels within them. And then you have threads within those channels. So it's kind of like three layers. So basically, what threads are good for is if you have multiple conversations going on at once in a certain channel. Like say you have a gaming channel. And now you don't need to create multiple channels. You can just have temporary ones basically. That's what I understand. Now I was actually going to go over something else in this video, but I didn't expect to go into this much detail about threads. I didn't actually realise I'd be setting them up. I didn't know I could do that at the moment. I only realised that as I was recording this video. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like. And until next time, see you there.